Election time in Pakistan and the country's big players are preparing for voting day. The last government, led by Nawaz Sharif, is in disarray as he was forced out of office in July 2017 by the anti-corruption court who accused him of not disclosing foreign investments. He said it was a coup against his government. Despite that, his party is confident of a strong showing. The Pakistan Muslim League N wants to do well in the province of Punjab, traditionally its stronghold. Another big player is the Pakistan People's Party, led by 29-year-old Bilal Bhutto. He inherited the party leadership after his mother and former Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto was assassinated in 2007. The party is popular in the southern Sindh province and he hopes a good result there will give his party a say on the national stage. Then there's Imran Khan, the former cricketer turned politician. His party held mass rallies during the government's last term, accusing it of corruption and electoral fraud. Some pundits suggest his Pakistan Movement for Justice party could be in line for a big win this time around. But behind all of this is Pakistan's deep state institution, the armed forces. It is said that without army support, no party can form a government. But the army says its role is simply security and stability. Given the region uh, Pakistan is located in, military's role has always been as a stabilizer. And to be honest, we can say that if helpful to facilitate or create conducive environment, peaceful environment uh, for any type of uh, event. For the electorate, there are other concerns, including the economy, jobs and a young population with few career prospects. But those issues affect the urban population. In rural areas, by far the biggest voting bloc, it's often village elders who dictate the vote. The values, the tradition, the sayings of the tribal elders, these all are the things which matters a lot in Pakistani elections. And a common voter, uh, definitely, despite whatever promises uh, given by any political leader in a public ground or in a public speech, right? So that may not matter. The thing which will matter, the saying of his elder. But there is another bloc with increasing influence over the last 10 years, the religious groups. Through networks of religious schools, those parties can mobilize votes for any political party that they choose. Given this election is wide open, it may well be their support that swings the final result. But there are concerns. Religious parties are intolerant of other minorities and women's rights and want to see Pakistan governed by religious law rather than civil law. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera.